but Paul is uh, looked at as the superstar in this uh, crop yeah. of interns. Not to you, he's not. Not to me, did. yeah, to you guys, not to me. Uh, to to a lot of people, Ron and Fez have, have picked out yeah. uh, Paul. They they don't like you. They don't want you around. No, they certainly Ronnie's, don't want me. Yes, they don't want you making eye contact with Ron. Ronnie... They don't want you in the building. Yeah. when have, they're on the air. How is Ronnie, that? Have Ron and seen intern Scott? They don't know about him. All right. Well, why don't you suggest that to Ronnie today? But I'm not allowed to talk to him. No, I didn't. <laughs> Honestly, I just got an email from Ronnie, and he said the bit is going very well today. I could show it to you after the show. And uh, Ronnie said yes, no problem. Uh, introduce me to Scott today. Wait, on, on the air on his show? He yes, during the first break. And I know it's a pro because Ronnie wants to make it like it's a surprise, too. So yeah. like they're going to be in the middle of something. Okay. It might seem important, but Ronnie's just waiting for that door to open and you to come in with Scott and introduce him. Introduce uh, him. Okay, if, if Scott can stay that late. Yeah, we'll see if Scott can stay that late. Ronnie insists. The problem with Ron and Fez, all they know they're on thin ice. Okay. And they hear the David and Bobo yeah, show, yeah. and they understand <laughs> yeah. the fact that they now have a competition. Right. Do you understand yeah. that, David? Yes. So you Ron and Fez no. Yeah, you're going to walk in with Scott, all right? Okay. You know, let him get a, in a, into a little bit of a flow because they're warming up, and then you barge through that door with Scott. Okay? Well, aren't they going to cue me when to come in? No, that's the beauty. It's no. got to be like a surprise. Oh, if, if Sam's around, are you going to stay late today, Sam? Uh, maybe. If Sam's around, he'll, he'll kind of cue you. I don't like ruining they're a bit They're not going like to say, that. here comes intern David from the Opie and Anthony show, and he has someone to introduce? No. No, you're just going to kind of walk in. How do I know when to walk in? Someone will tell you who okay. stays will, late today. Sam will cue you. All right. Oh, okay. And hopefully Scott could uh, stay. <laughs> yeah, okay. I was going to say we have a David update. We could do it now if you want. Get it out of the way. Oh, my God. David's yeah. not here for the people that hate David. There's a thing going on with David. People, I mean. <laughs> is this, there? Yeah. But this Oof. one is, there's no gray area. They either love him yep. or hate him. There's no in between like, ah, he's all right. Some yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever. Uh, People get excited when he's on the air, and people go, holy shit, I can't take another uh, David uh, 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 bit. Yeah. So uh, we don't know what to do about that, to be honest with you. Eh, we just keep fucking putting him right in your face. <laughs> but Sam, we, we got a David update. He's not here, but. Right. But he did, uh, you instructed him yesterday to go on the Ron and Fez show. Yeah. Yes. And introduce Scott, the new MVP intern. Yeah. Now. Because well, he is the new MVP. He got the highest grade, right? Yes, yes, Scott got Yesterday, an A minus. A minus from David. See, but the thing is, Ron Bennington um, hates David. Right. No, because Opie got an email right, while yeah. the show was on that I Ron sure said. Anthony. You forgot about that. Ron said he doesn't hate David anymore and he would like to meet Scott yeah. at some. Yeah. Oh, I, I believe that was an erroneous email. Really? <laughs> yes. Because um, uh, Ron is not a fan of David. <laughs> and uh, as a matter of fact, Ron. Never wants to see David while Ron is doing his program. Yeah. Uh, and Opie telling him to uh, go in and not even ask <laughs> about it. He said, Ron wants you to just barge into the show. Well, I, I made it perfectly clear that give Ron a few minutes to just get into some kind of good conversation. Yeah, yeah, conversation. You know, because he likes to warm up before he really starts rocking <laughs> on his radio show. And that yeah. would be a perfect time to get in there because then, you know, Ronnie's. You know, rocking on all cylinders. Right. Hence, actually interrupting probably a really good bit yes. that he was in the middle of. Interrupting Ron's <laughs> train of thought. I believe, yeah, you told him to wait until they pick up some steam so they can get the show going and then go in. And then just open the door yeah. and come in with this new yeah. super intern. <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> probably the worst advice you could give young David because... But, uh, but he, he he likes to listen to us and uh, yeah. and well, I heard he did just that yesterday. He right? did because he was nervous about doing it, <laughs> and none of us were going to be here because we all had to go to Sirius for a meeting. But before we left, and a, a bunch of the interns, we assured him. I told him, David, what you have to do. Ron and Fez don't like cues; like they don't like to do things, so there won't be a cue. Yeah, yeah. You just have to do this between twelve fifteen and twelve twenty. To fly by to the, uh, the seat of their pants kind of show. Yeah. You just got to barge in. And was he hiding? And so he said, okay, yeah, yeah. And we told him he couldn't let Ron see him. Right, so he was hiding. So Ron he was in the back. the coast is clear. He doesn't have to see David. Then Danny told him, David, when you go in there, you got to sell Scott. You have to make them know that Scott's the number one guy. And he sat David down and told him to go on YouTube and watch old Jimmy Hart promos from WWF. So he knew how to sell someone. Oh, shit. So David said, okay. So he was all set. Yeah. Yeah. So then we found out what happened was... <laughs> David, well, we have we have the audio, by the way. Okay, I haven't heard the audio. You want to? Well, I don't. I, we, I'll explain what happened. David, uh, he took one step in the door, 
Well, do we want to play the audio first, and then you could like yeah, go inside yeah. the audio, yeah. and then I go inside would... the audio. Yeah. So uh, yeah, because that's the setup. So David, all excited. Yes. He thought that I really got an email from Ronnie, <laughs> and he was that... getting he was getting ready to do the wrestling manager thing. Like he was getting ready to go in yeah. and just. Yeah. This is Scott, the right. new MVP intern. Yeah. And... I'd be more happy to see a home invader come <laughs> through my door. Uh, he would be treated uh, a nicer than Ronnie treated David. Yeah. <laughs> And, and David's like, it's got to be true, because Opie said he got an email from Ronnie, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. And this is uh, what happened on the Ron and Fez show yesterday, noon to three, of course. I can't take it anymore, Fez. It's going on too long. You and that fucking uh, witch doctor, psychiatrist, have done nothing to get better. And you have now taken me to the point of aggravation. I can't put up with it anymore. I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill you. I've had regressions, yes, I'll admit that. But, you know, I... You think I'm fucking around. You think that... <laughs> what is she doing in here? <laughs> Throw this motherfucker out! Throw this motherfucker out! Throw this son of a bitch out! Throw him out! Throw him out! <laughs> we just threw out David, the o a intern. He tried to come walking in here in a good mood. He may need a new pair of Hagar slacks. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What a good You're... time to walk in. Oh, my God. I know. Because Ronnie, it wasn't a happy break that Ronnie was doing anyway. He was, like, you know, not in the best of moods. And then David walks in. You could hear him as he's walking in going, come in, Scott, come in. Because Scott told me he was kind of hanging behind David. Right. And then once David stepped in and Scott saw Ron take his glasses off and look up and go, what the fuck are you doing in here? Scott just moved right back as if he was not, <laughs> not involved. It's just David. You could hear David going, Opie told me, Opie told me, right, Opie yeah. told me in the background. Yeah. And uh, we, well, Ronnie didn't hear that. We so, do have one more clip. Go ahead. Okay. Well, no, no, no. If you have one more clip. Uh, uh, well, Paul, the intern, wants to jump in on this. Uh, Paul, of course, who um, Ron and Fez love. Paul, what's going on? Hey, what's going on? Hey, man. <laughs> The best part of the whole thing is uh, Master Joe, as he's escorting David to the door, asks me to get David's stuff and take him downstairs. Right. When we get outside, he goes, well, I don't know if it was a bit or not, but I never got to tell Ron what Opie said. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. What a dummy. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Paul. Yeah, because, no problem. Thanks, guys. All right. Eastside Dave. But you know David doesn't like to be touched? Yeah. Like, you can't even pat him on the back? Yeah. Eastside Dave picked him up. And threw him out of the studio. Ooh, yeah. He said he was the enforcer. Yeah. yeah, and then Master Joe came. I think this is what this clip is setting up. Master Joe came to physically remove him from the building. All right. Hey, uh, I'm Davy Boy. Yeah. Talk to Master Joe and have David the intern removed from the building. You got it, boss. Removed from the building and let David the intern know I'm taking this to the highest fucking place. <laughs> I will. Let him know I have fucking... Had it, and this is going to the highest place that we have in XM. I always like uh, treating people exactly the opposite as they're treated on the ONA show. <laughs> Why? It confuses them. <laughs> it absolutely confuses them. And then they think to themselves, what is reality? And Master Joe finally got to throw somebody out. Just a little look on his face when me and Dave bum rushed him. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, boy, that was the best. He looked like he was going to throw up. He's quivering right now in yeah. the hallway, and he should be. He should be. We didn't even give him a, a second break. Is he out of the uh, place? Yeah, yeah. Joe is walking, and, and he said, but I need my jacket. And I said, you maggot interns, <laughs> give, get him his stuff and bring it down to him, but he's out of this fucking building right now. I, all I could hear was, but, but, Opie. But, but, Opie. But, but, Opie. But, but, Opie. Well, I came over when I heard this happen to check on the situation. I talked to Master Joe, the security guard, about what happened. And he said that what broke his heart oh, no. was David saying, but I, I didn't get a chance to. Opie told me to. And then he's like, David, I think you got to go, man. We'll take care of all this, you know, when you're back on Friday, but don't worry. And David turned around and looked at Master Joe and said, but Opie wouldn't lie to me. <laughs> oh, oh, no. And he just walked to the elevator shaking his head saying, oh, Opie wouldn't lie to me. <laughs> Opie told me. I was just doing what Opie said. 
Does he listen to the show? <laughs> right. He, he thinks he thinks you would lie to him, Ant. Yes. Yeah. Obi would not. Yeah, of course. Exactly. Well, he's got it right. I yeah, think. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I would absolutely lie to him. <laughs> uh, Stephen S. from Bayshore. Hey, Ope, if it's not David's autopsy results, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> so I guess he's not on Team David. No. Stephen S. isn't part of t- uh, Team David? Apparently not. Huh. Right. Well, very no, surprised by that. Yes, very surprised <laughs> knowing uh, <laughs> Stephen Bayshore. <laughs> that's really good. <laughs> All right. Bravo. Yeah. And that's how it went down on the Ron Fez show yesterday. Yeah. Of course, noon to three. <laughs> Ronnie wasn't happy, huh? <laughs> no, he was not. He doesn't no. even. He starts shouting when David is just like there. Yeah. Like they, David <laughs> yeah, can behind be out, the glass. He outside. Like it. Yeah. So no. when David just walked in <laughs> out of nowhere. And they were having a serious moment on that show. Yeah, and you just hear, come on, Scott, come on, Scott. <laughs> that was no Ichiban or any of that crap. No, that was not like, Ichiban. That was Ichiban. That was getting to some of uh, Fez's yeah. uh, stuff. That was no old bored gossip <laughs> no. segment. No. What, was... is he annoyed that Fez is, uh, it keeps regressing? Like, uh, what's, I, I, yeah, I, I, guess, not... I guess he's just sick of uh, 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 Fez's therapist. Not to curing him or something. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. You know. Why does Fez keep crying? I don't know. I I, I guess so. He he sounded better um, recently than he has. Jay Moore made him cry. Yeah. Well, Jay Moore is a bully. No. Oh. Uh, to Fezzy, he is the bully. He's the the playground bully, and Fezzy is the poor little chubby kid on the playground. Oh, you're going to make him cry. <laughs> no, no, I know they're going to play this now, and Fez is going to cry. But I don't mean that uh, literally. I mean it figuratively. I mean it like it was probably in the old days when he was fatty pneumonia. Oh, jeez. Oh, don't bring man. that up. What are well, you doing? No, fatty d- pneumonia? Why would they call him that? Oh, they uh, would call him fatty pneumonia. Fez. Why? Anthony Fez. doesn't mean this. This is, um, I can't mean believe this. this. Why would they call him that? Uh, oh, well, because he was a chubby oh little kid. No, oh, uh, do this. back, but it's way back in the days when the, he used oh, to have to boy. stand naked in the driveway after going to the oh, beach, oh, so he could be hosed off of oh, the sand oh, oh, Fezzy, and, and, and embarrassed out. in front of no, his no, entire no. neighborhood Fezzy, as he wow. stood there, and the kids called him Fatty Pneumonia oh, as he was being sprayed with a hose oh, nude in his driveway. I can't who believe s- you're bringing this up. Uh, who the, would spray him naked? Oh, it's humiliating. Uh, you know, yeah, oh, no. yeah, it's humiliating. His family? Uh, yeah. No, yeah. Don't do this. Yeah, to keep because he had sand, and they don't want sand in the house, oh, and Jesus. and they didn't want little Fezzy, <laughs> little poor little Fezzy, dragging sand in the house. So they make him take his little bathing suit off and stand nude in the driveway as they hose oh, him down. Oh my God! Oh, wow, it, but that it probably was gave probably him, very traumatic. That probably gave him shame issues that he carries. Oh, this day. he can't go into the bathroom this is... uh, here at the at the facility. He doesn't. He oh, can no. only go to the bathroom at home. Oh God! No. Uh, it's it's tragic. No, turn off this but, tape. This Ronnie, is not don't good. do this. Does he, no, hate, his, uh, Ronnie, does he hate his parents? Tape, Ronnie. I, that's probably something he's sorting Ronnie, out with a therapist. F. I'm oh not sure God. of the Turn details, tape, but Ronnie. I would think Ronnie. there has to be some type of do resentment the right thing, there. Uh, right if, if you're being stand, if you're you're standing out in a driveway nude while while kids Ronnie's taunt you Ronnie, uh, as you're being this. sprayed with a hose as a chubby little child. You can stop this at any moment. He was Any probably moment. adorable as a little chubby kid. I'm, oh, I'm, just, this, I'm trying to be Ronnie, nice. You go to the beach. Oh, my God, Ronnie. Yeah. You, you want to have fun. F. Right. You feel a part Stop of it. Yes. a nice day at the beach. Yeah. And you come oh. home where it's supposed to be safe. I oh, yeah. Jesus. I give up. And you're humiliated. <laughs> and they say I'm sick. Ronnie. And you're humiliated. Yeah, sick yeah. Like, sick, Ronnie. How could sick. he then take the next time that he goes to the beach and, and go like, oh, wow, I'm going to the beach. I'm going to have fun. When all he's thinking is, I'm going to be little fatty pneumonia getting oh. hosed down in the driveway. Uh, you know, it it it's not a it's probably not a happy memory. If the place you're supposed to be safest, right, <laughs> is a source of humiliation and shame, there's a problem. There. Then how can, like you just said, you feel good about anything because the end of your day is always going to be there. So you could start yes. off feeling good about yourself and having fun with your friends. Yeah. But if you're always going to think, like, I'm going to be called Fatty Pneumonia, that's a terrible thing to be it's called. It's a terrible name. It, 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 it's horrible. And Jay Moore is, is a bully when it comes to Fez because oh he, my God. he brings things up let, like this listen, in a bad way. Let, I bring let, it up hey, to hey, try listen. to help. Ronnie, I'm controlling your show now. Look. See? you just That's all you have to do. You turn off the mic, the mic and it stops. See? It stops. <laughs> but it's 
not. You could have done this minutes ago. See, I got a button over here on my <laughs> side, so I could just talk about anything oh, as no. far as Fezzy goes. All right, I, listen, Roddy, I tried. Now it's up to you to turn this off. I tried. <laughs> I tried. Skinny sniffles turned it back on. <laughs> Uh, we got to take uh, a break. <laughs> Fezzy knows I love him very much. Oh, really? He does know that. Boy. I, 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 would, I wouldn't do anything to upset him. <sighs> I, I'm calling out Jay Moore as a bully, and, and you know, that's where I'll leave it. I just it, Nothing I said is anything that hasn't been uh, brought it's out disgusting. on the air and discussed. I was making light of it. I find it tragic. He should be hugged. Fezzy probably likes to be hugged a lot. I bet. Fezzy probably likes <laughs> the, the type problem of is hugs. Who, who's hugging him? <laughs> he probably likes the hugs where his arms are straight down. Like, you know, you hug somebody oh, right. and they're, and yeah, they're yeah. so sad they don't even hug you back. Yeah, they can't even hug back. It's just this straight their arm down. Their arms are down. just kind of straight down and you're hugging around their arms. And you feel so. a, a little sigh. <sighs> Fatty pneumonia is horrible. I never horrible. heard. I've never heard that before. The song's fantastic, It's a good song. Yeah. Do we have that song? Oh, I'm sure they do. We could go to break with that Fatty song. Fatty pneumonia. Oh, we, we'll go to break with that. Yeah. Poor Fez. Ron and Fez, new to tree. <laughs> yes. New to tree. I think someone abused them? New to tree. <laughs> I, uh, I don't know. Yeah, that's up to I them to discuss. Not For family to be comfortable with nudity like that is not uh, healthy. Wow. Right. right. Well. It's that's what healthy. I think, but I'm not making any. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure, a therapist. I'm not making any. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'll sit down with him. Yeah, yeah. let's let's play the song. That'll help. <laughs> People want to hear the intern Dave uh, getting kicked out again. Yeah, <laughs> we'll do it after the break. We'll give you one more play at that because they're yeah. saying it's amazing. And this is the story. So if you, you want to catch up, Jim, on uh, oh, fatty pneumonia. Okay. Ronnie wouldn't still be playing this tape, would he? I hope he's not, not that sick, is he? I hope not. He went not. to break by now, right? For Fez's would sake. Hope. He yes, wouldn't actually for Fez's sake. keep this going as we play no. now the song. Fez. I guarantee you, you will not hear this on this the Ron Fez show. No, no, by this time. Because uh, Ronnie does care over. about Fez yes, enough to, yes. to stop this tape. Absolutely. Does There's get... no way we're still on the Ron and Fez no, show. No, no. Does right, he get good, sad with good. when people still call him fat and pneumonia? Oh, my God. Yeah, and yeah. The, the gets... chubby thing, too. Wow. You don't know how, what he's going to be Thank sensitive about. Thank God Ronnie stopped the tape a while ago. On any given day. Like, some days it's fine to talk about something. Other days. Not so much. So he was probably so, a chubby kid. And he was probably teased oh, a lot. Oh my gosh! Yeah, yeah. That that's been brought up on the I show. Said. So I think that's fair. You know, uh, an assessment of uh, what what did happen back in uh, his past. Hey, David, we haven't talked to you since you got uh, bodily removed from the the facility the other day. No, we haven't. That's true. What happened, David? What happened? Uh, what it happened didn't... is uh, on Wednesday. Oh, Uncle Paul. On Wednesday, <laughs> you. You told me, you <laughs> requested for me to go in at 15 to 20 minutes after the Ron and Fez show started. Right. To go in there. Right. Because they were, they liked uh, intern Paul. Right. But I fired intern Paul. Right. And I chose Scott as my favorite intern. So you wanted me to introduce uh, Ron and Fez to intern Scott to see if he would be a suitable replacement for Paul who got fired. And you did everything we said. You hid. So Ronnie didn't yes, see hid. you because Ronnie I doesn't hid. like seeing you. But yes, we got me and Scott hid. Yes, correct. we got the special email from Ronnie going, yeah, let, you know, let David bring in uh, the superstar, brand new intern there. Yeah. So yes. you guys hid in the back office, and then about 15 minutes into the it show, it was like 16, 17 minutes. Yeah, you barged into the Ronnie Fez show, me right? Me and Scott barged into the Ronnie Fez and, show. Yes. And just in case you did not hear, we're going to play one more time to wrap up all the stuff we did this week. Okay. Here's uh, David bringing in intern Scott on the Ronnie Fez show. It was terrific. I can't take it anymore, Fez. It's going on too long. You and that fucking uh, witch doctor, psychiatrist, have done nothing to get better. And you have now taken me to the point of aggravation. I can't put up with it anymore. I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill you. I've had regressions, yes, I'll admit that. But, you know, I... You think I'm fucking around. You think that... What is she doing in here? Throw this motherfucker out! Throw this motherfucker out! Throw this son of a bitch out! Throw him out! Throw him out! Fuck out of here! Fuck out of here! We just threw out David, the ONA intern. He tried to come walking in here in a good mood. He may need a new pair of Hagar slacks. <laughs> Wow, that didn't go as well as I thought it was going to go. Oh, what, someone in front of the cam? What no, 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 you're right. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, that, uh, what, wow, what were you thinking when he was yelling at you like that? I was thinking that uh, I had every right to be in there. Cause the, oh, you Whoa! <laughs> no, he'll explain, Anthony, he'll explain. Go ahead, David. Because, Opie, you said that you 
you exchanged emails with Ron, and Ron said it was a good idea. That's right. To, to, for me to go in there and introduce him to Scott. Right. I got an email. So if Ron would, if Ron wanted me to introduce, introduce him to Scott, why did he kick me out all of a sudden? It's yeah. a bunch of bullshit. Yeah, it is. Why would he say one thing and then change his mind? Well, Ronnie's got this thing where he thinks he's fucking. He thinks who the fuck he is. Yeah. We uh, we got a little more audio from uh, the incident. Bre hey, uh, I'm Davy boy. Yeah. Talk to Master Joe. And have David, the intern, removed from the building. You got it, boss. Removed from the building and let David, the intern, know I'm taking this to the highest fucking place. I will. Let him know I have fucking had it and this is going to the highest place mm -hmm. that we have in XM. I always like uh, treating people exactly the opposite as they're treated on the ONA show. <laughs> Why? It confuses them. It absolutely <laughs> confuses them. And then they think to themselves, what is reality? And Master Joe finally got to throw somebody out. Just a little look on his face when me and Dave bum rushed him. <laughs> Dave, boy, that was the best. He looked like he was going to throw up. He's quivering right now in yeah. the hallway. And he should be. He should be. We didn't even give him a, a second break. Is he out of the uh, place? Yeah, Joe is walking. And, and he said, but I need my jacket. And I said, you maggot interns, <laughs> give, get him his stuff and bring it down to him. But he's out of this fucking building right now. I, all I could hear was butt butt Opie. Butt butt Opie. <laughs> That's the best. And there you go. Butt butt Opie. I don't know what happened, David. I got the email. I thought I was doing the right thing. And next thing you know, you got kicked out. Onto yes, the sidewalk. That's correct. You yeah. were uh, bushwhacked. And they didn't even they didn't even get to they didn't even notice that Scott also walked in the room. They could care less that Scott walked in the room. No, no. way. They didn't even notice. Scott walked out of the room fine. They didn't even get that was the whole. Him. That was the whole reason. I know. They didn't even get to see Scott. Or they didn't even know that he walked in the room. I bet Whoa. you that's why. I, I guarantee you that's why they threw you out. Yeah. They probably didn't see Scott. Yeah. yeah. And they thought you were there to fuck with him. Patty's not. Instead of realizing God. that you had some a reason to be there. You should probably have Scott walk in first, and then you walk in behind him, yeah. and then they'll know why you're in there. Yeah. Because Ronnie probably thought you were blowing off what he yeah. wanted you to do, which was introduce him to Scott. Well, well I still wanted him to meet Scott. Well, we're going to work that out. We'll work how it is out. Scott here today? Work that. Yeah, Scott's yeah. here. All right, we're going to work something out for the Ron and Fez show. Well, how would I do it without him getting pissed I, off at me? I, I, I'll tell you how. I know. I know. They like he food. He said for me not to be in the Listen building. Listen to me. Is. They like food. Ronnie loves his food. we got to figure out what Ronnie really likes to eat, and you walk in with the food. How is he going to get mad if you're holding his favorite yeah. dish? He said when he's in the building, I can't no, be no, in the no, building. No, 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 no. nothing to do with that. How about a fine cigar? Fine cigar. Ronnie enjoys a fine cigar. A nice tipperillo. Yeah, Fucking a, he loves those. Yeah, you got to have something that kind of breaks the ice. So if you Pink got the tip white owl, <laughs> <laughs> that is a kid. <laughs> a little stupid. That joke is a kid. <laughs> what are you smoking? A pink tip white owl? <laughs> get it? It's a dick. I actually didn't get that. That was a roast cigar. Oh no! Who knows? That's a big cock. Oh, <laughs> who knows what Ronnie <laughs> likes to eat? Well, I mean, he loves a lot of different things. He loves. All right, let's figure out what he likes. We're gonna get that, and we're gonna try this again today, David. And if you, if you break the ice with food and, and like Ann said, a nice cigar, I think uh, I think we're gonna have better results. Yeah, is, is Scott gonna come in too, or just me? No, Scott, Scott will be. Yeah, Scott's well. Scott's no, don't be, worry. Yeah, the yeah. first. We'll one figure it out. We'll send David to the. There's a very nice newsstand downstairs. We'll get Ronnie a very nice cigar. Yep. Yeah, and we'll have him present. And some olive oil. He loves know, olive oil. Yeah. Make sure right. it's a good one that you know Ronnie's we'll gonna get the best, really we'll like. We'll get the best one you know, that they have there. But what is he like as far as food? I, I don't know if the cigar is gonna quite do it. We need a yeah, yeah, a few things. Nice pizza pie, maybe some pastries right, we'll or something. Yeah. We'll, yeah, we'll figure out what Ron. It'll work out. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about that. Very good news, Scott in Virginia. Ron loves the all veggie sub from Subway. All so right. David, yep. a cigar and an all veggie sub from Subway. You hide, and we're going to try the Scott thing again. It's a peace offering. So when but, do I walk in? Like same fifteen same minutes. Same thing. 15, but you got. Minutes. But now you but got. You got the icebreaker. First. You got it. I mean. Before he gets really excited and runs after you, you got to yell, hey, hey, Roddy, I got you a peace offering. All right? right? But last time, the exact second that I walked in, he got mad. I understand. That's, that's why I'm going with the food there. and the cigar, my friend. So I got to show him. Peace offering, peace yeah. offering, peace yeah. offering. Just scream, peace yeah. offering, peace Just offering. Just scream, peace offering. Just scream, okay. peace offering. All right, if veggie you sub and a cigar. We, you we got a sensible right man. Yeah. You got to tell him you got a right to be there, too, because he might think that you're fucking around, but you know you have a right to be there. Yes, I certainly do. I'll talk to this Ron Bennington. He seems like a reasonable fellow. <laughs> <laughs> but you got to say, I got a right yeah, to be here. You got to listen to you. Uh, you know, but you got to say, I got a right. Don't be a dick about it. But How do I start it? I, walk, I open the door and what do I say right you hold away? Your, you hold your stuff. 
Right. And he might not say anything. Just go here, Ronnie. Yeah. The peace offering. Yeah. If he gets loud, because mm -hmm. again, sometimes he does think who the fuck he is. You yes. got to say, I got a right to be here. Okay. And then he'll go, what do you mean? Yeah. And then you'll show him the peace offering and he'll go, what is this? It's like a way to engage conversation. And then all of a sudden it'll turn into like, ah, oh, hey, that fez, look what uh, David hey, brought. He brought a peace, peace offering. Ah, yeah. oh, cigars, I love the cigars. I love the veggie sub from Subway we know, sandwiches. We know we can work this out with Ronnie. We I want to, yes. We yeah, will. But you got to, again, we will. You got to be strong without day. being rude. Don't right. be rude. There's got to be peace between the shows. And you're really the only thing right now that's keeping that from happening, and right. we don't want it to get worse. No. I agree with that. Uh, so it's got to be remedied. You right. know okay. that. I know. Right. You know that. All right. Just to end the bit, uh, remember on Friday, we had intern David walk in on Rana Fez again? Oh, my God. I, I didn't hear that. Oh, then it's worth playing. We can, let's get this out of the way. We could do this before the break. Uh, how do we set this up? We, we've been sending intern David into the Ron and Fez show because Ronnie just just dislikes David tremendously uh, to the point where you know uh, David's not even allowed to be in eyesight of Ronnie when no. Ronnie's doing the Ron and Fez show, right? Right. And we uh, we uh, told him walk in, and it it didn't go well whatsoever. So then we. We told him he needs to walk in with a peace offering. Right. Is that's and that's what happened. You guys got a nice sandwich for him and everything. Well, we set him up with a sandwich. Yeah. I think like a Philly Blunt cigar, Ooh. and uh, a megaphone. We gave him Ant's old megaphone. Okay. Not the new one. Yeah, because we said, look, you got to get his attention right away. And when Ronnie starts freaking out, the megaphone. Right. <laughs> yeah. Right. So, so oh. we sent in David. With the sandwich and the cigar in one hand, yeah, and then the megaphone in the other hand, so he could shout "peace offering, peace offering." Wait, yeah. so the sandwich was a a, a Subway veggie sub? Yes. Yeah. Does Ron like those? Yes, and we opened he it. He does like them? I think so. I'm not. I don't. You should have got him one he hated. I thought he hated. He shouldn't get him one. He should have got him tuna or something well, he hates. I, so, trust me. Oh, okay. It worked. <laughs> it worked. It worked. It wasn't about liking or hating the sandwich. You'll oh, see. Okay. <laughs> so. uh... Yeah, get his attention. Then, when Ronnie starts freaking out, peace offering, peace offering. Don't get mad. Look what I got for you, Ronnie. We waited until he was not taking phone calls. He was in the middle of a conversation with Fez. Yeah. Then that would be the perfect time oh, to Oh, you send guys him sent in. him in. All right, here. Here's how it went down on uh, Friday, in huh. case you missed it. Fez, what? Mira. <laughs> I am not a butterface. Honestly, I know a retarded person. Uh, you fucking uh, yeah, uh, easy, 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 Dave. Easy, Dave. Two days. Hello. <laughs> Two fucking days. All right, Dave, David, take it easy. That's right. What? What? This is uh, David from the O and A show, and you came in here with what? I came in here to try to make a peace offering and to make things right between me and you. <laughs> We're back live. <laughs> <laughs> what, what? Make things right between me, <laughs> me and, and you. you. <laughs> that, there's no way. I, I like how you said Dave tried to intimidate him and said, two fucking days in a row? And Dave said, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> no, he did. That's right. That's right. <laughs> now, uh, oh, dummy. I think we're fast forwarding uh, to track five. Jeremy calls. What's this oh, about? Oh, yes. Well, help me through this because I didn't get to hear this, unfortunately, on Friday. Ron told him, because last time they just threw him right out the second he walked in. Yeah. So yeah. East Side Dave was ready to do that again. But Ron said, keep him in here. We're getting Jeremy Coleman on the phone. We're taking this to the highest level. Yeah. It's one of the oh. VPs over at uh, yes. Sirius XM, yeah. Jeremy Coleman. And then they said, okay, we have Jeremy Coleman on the phone. Jeremy? Ron and Fez. Uh, Ron Bennington here. I hate to bother you during the show. No problem. Bladder said you wanted to talk to me. What's going on? By the way, you guys are fantastic. I'll tell you why. That's, You've been doing a great Jeremy Coleman. show. What did, what did you just That's say? Fez. I said you've been doing some great hold, stuff with hold on. I really, hold uh, on. really appreciate hold everything on. you're doing. Dave? Yeah. Take this kid out and take him down the fucking street. That wasn't Jeremy Cole. That was Fez. I heard his voice. I'm, tell, I'm taking you down there right now. There you go. So, <laughs> so yeah, they, David figured it was indeed Fez. Yeah. Um, at that point... Rob Bennington decided to go with the tried and true method of physically removing <laughs> him, <laughs> physically <laughs> throwing him out. Well, All I, think, right. I think Fez blew it. The clever That's, ruse didn't work, yeah. so I think Ron Ron was quoted saying the old Fez would have been able to pull off a Jeremy Coleman voice. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> so Fez was very happy to hear that. Yes. <laughs> Did that uh, lead to another crying mm, episode? It might have. All right. Uh, well, then it... Uh, Escalated to track six there, Iraq. Let's play this. Take him to the fucking okay. office. You can have your sandwich to the corporate office. Get the, 
Come here. Right. Take that fucking sandwich and wipe, wipe it down his fucking chest. Come here. No. Wipe no. it down his fucking chest. Come here. Come here. Uh, come here. Wipe it chest. down his chest. Boy. It's on your chest. Don't get it on my shirt. Let's go. Get it on my shirt. This is oh. not a joke. Oh. Take him out of the fucking building. No. Introduce him and say if he's in here again, if he's in here again during this fucking show, I'm going to fucking and Come here, kid. Come here. What? Look at Mr. Bankin. Look. Am I going to see you again in here? No, never. Are you going to see me? No, never. I'm going to leave at uh, 12 every every day that I'm here for the internship. I'll leave at 12. You're not, you don't have an internship. You don't have an internship. Right. You've destroyed a broadcasting school that's been around. <laughs> me? I destroyed? Yes. How did I destroy because it? you're fucking bad luck schlep rock. <laughs> schlep rock. The sounds of yeah. the awe and no yeah. that was going on. That was the sound of a... Condiment heavy sandwich being smeared on David's face. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, no. That was the sound of mustard on his glasses, <laughs> lens, and mayonnaise in his hair. And, oh, oh, no, no, no. We go to track seven, the $30 cigar. Oh, yes, this is when uh, uh, they, they mentioned the cigar that David had brought in. Well, yeah, yeah, the big piece uh, offering. Look at you sitting there with mayonnaise on your face. Well, that's because he took the sandwich. This is funny. He gave you a Philly blunt. A man. Oh, is that right? That's, that's the big joke, too. He knows you like cigars, so he gives you a Philly. This is. Oh, it's funny this, fucking this show today. This is not the $30 cigar. It's very expensive. <laughs> it's a good cigar. Look at that camera. It's a good cigar. All right, Dave. Now you're. Aww. Now. Now this is turning. Oh, this is turning into jail rape. <laughs> you know what? Maybe he needs a jail rape. Is that what you're here for? Pull your pants down. No, that's not. You want a jail for, rape? No. You want no. a jailhouse rape? No. <laughs> what the hell? Wait, is that a good cigar, a Philly Blunt? It's not no, the best. No, no, no. no However, no, one step above the old white owl. They're just made for peeling, taking apart, and using the outside to make uh, blunts with. Yeah. Marijuana, marijuana cigarettes. I love the sound of David in the background. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh. In David's defense, he was told that it was a $30 cigar, so that's why he went in defending that he had, oh, really? <laughs> he had no idea that was a cheap cigar. Is it a oh. cheap cigar? Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh yeah. he was told it was $30. One of, one of the other interns actually purchased a cigar. Yeah. Oh, of course. It's nowhere near $30. Go to track eight. I miss him now that he's going off. You feel like, yeah, the kid was, there's something about him that's just lovely. Something about him I just get the biggest kick yeah. out of. It smells like sandwich in here. Get him back in. Get him back in. Bring him back in. Yeah, just for a second. Here's uh, Ed. Ed, you're on the run of face show. Hey, Ronnie. Uh, typical Jew boy. Give you a cheap cigar. Could have went for a more expensive one. Mm. What are you going to do? He's just a kid. Yeah. We want you back in. Right. What, wait a minute. What is he doing? What is he doing in here? What the fuck? David, how many times did I tell you? How many times did I tell you? What the fuck out of here? You're a fucking comedy pit, Dave. Yeah, everyone laugh. Keep what is... laughing. I like when you pit bull for me, Dave. I like when you pit bull for me. <laughs> oh, my God. Ronnie's inviting him in just to throw him out again. Just to throw him out again. Yeah. Oh, it's like watching somebody abuse a dog. <laughs> right. Like, come here, come here. No. <laughs> right. All right, and then uh, this. Come on, we what is he doing in here? Fuck? What is he doing? Get him out. Draw. Get him out. Well, that's straw. I hope he comes back. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously he just kept playing the same gag. Well, well yeah. he kicks him out and then invites him back in. He did it about four times. Yeah. Which you can't hear in the audio is what happened uh, outside the studio. David realized that he was just going to be thrown out again by the last time. Yeah. So he was out in the hallway, and Eastside Dave said, "We need you one more time." And David said, "No, I'm not going back in. No, they're just going to throw me out. No." So Erock came behind David and uh -huh. physically pushed him. From the hallway to the studio door, David put his arms out at the studio <laughs> door so he couldn't be in. Erock chopped his arms down, pushed him into the studio, at which point they <laughs> threw him out. And David freaked out, lunged at Eric, raised his fist like he was going to punch him in his face. Wow. And then settled down and just walked out and said, Eric, you, Eric, 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 you. Wow. I've Little never seen him violence. so angry. All right. Ooh. The final, uh bit of audio from intern David walking in on the Ron and Fez show on Friday. I hope he gets back in here. Because there's something about the kid I just adore. You know what I think it is? What's that? 
it's the um, it's the fact that he he he's got some kind of a uh, a want and a need, a persistence. Uh, Ford, you're on the run. What is he doing in here? How many fucking times? How many times, David? I'm trying to do a show. Why are you going to do a show here? <laughs> Dave, oh, they just <laughs> tormented the kid. Ron Fez's Dave is hysterical. Oh, yeah. He just lunges at him with yeah. that voice. <laughs> At that point was the point that David raised his fist to Iraq and then marched out of here, and I had to find him down in the subway station to make sure he wasn't going to come back here jump, and murder his race. Or jump in front of a train. Yes. <laughs> I, I, I think that uh, I think we need to try one more time. That might be a good idea, Can actually. we get, I know it's past St. Patty's Day, but can we get a bagpipe band? <laughs> To lead David into the Ron and Fez show. Oh, <laughs> Good idea. Oh, my God, no. Can we get a bagpiper <laughs> to lead David into the Ron and Fez show? <laughs> that would be. I mean, Ron because loves bagpipe think, music. Because I don't think David has been properly uh, heard by Ronnie. No, I think he hasn't just he hasn't gotten a chance now, to get his point across. And a bagpiper or bagpipe band would certainly <laughs> drown out Ronnie so poor little David would be able to to say what he wants to say to Ronnie. Finally get uh, his words out. <laughs> right. What do you think? I think it's a great idea. Do you? I think so. If uh, a bagpiper could get a hold of us, we really could use one. And I think Ron's always loved bagpipe music. Really? So that would be a very oh, nice piece. Oh, wow, oh, look at that that's coincidence. That's handy then. Yeah. Sure. Uh, David, people hate you on the radio, but really quickly, how did it go Friday? Not very well. No? <laughs> Not no. very well. Did they really uh, smear the sandwich in your face? Yes, they really did that. Eastside Dave did, yes. Man, I don't know what's going on with those guys, because they seem to be open uh, to this whole peace offering thing we tried to do Friday. And then uh, what happens? Yeah. yeah. They didn't take too well to it. Uh, Eastside Dave uh, smeared the sandwich on my face. I got mayonnaise in my hair. Oh, <laughs> no. Really? Mayonnaise was all in my hair. I had to go take a shower when I got Did home. Did E-Rock lick it off like a cat? <laughs> <laughs> if he wanted to, yeah. I think the main problem is that uh, Arani, I think, honestly, is afraid of Eastside Dave. Dave's a weird guy. He's like a... Like, what happens is Dave gets very possessive and territorial, and like Ron will say, I heard the audio, and Ron will say, hey, get him in here. And, and Dave just fucking freaks out because Dave's whole gig is he wants Fez out of the picture. Mm -hmm. And uh, he wants to be the controlling guy in that show. So you're another guy coming in, and he sees that as some kind of a threat to him. And Ron doesn't know how to tell Dave to back off, so he goes with it. That's happened with other shit, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. If we get a bagpipe guy, would you try one more time? I'm willing to try. I want to try to make up with this guy. I don't want to be on his bad side. I mean, if we get, you know, that a bagpiper will drown out Ronnie, and then we could finally. Get... How the how how are we gonna get a bagpiper? Wow. I don't know. There was one at F H Riley's that wanted to come in here and do something. We didn't get a hold of him in time. Oh, okay. Oh, we'll get one. All right. All right. Thank you, David. Sure, you're welcome. How do we put out an ad for a bagpiper? Do you play an instrument that no girl will ever fuck you because you play? <laughs> 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 All right.